Good morning, this is Jim Whitehead of All Power Group. Today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the past, present, and future of my YouTube channel. Back in uh, 2007, when I was young, I, in essence, was uh, in the generator business. I started the business in the end of 2005, and I started a YouTube channel so that I could sell my services, let people know what I was doing, educate them a little bit more about how generators benefit them, how they work, the installation steps, and lastly, service uh, of a generator. You'll, you'll see one of the uh, videos from back then related to the service installation. Also, in 2014, I had the great opportunity to build a new ham radio shack. I was an amateur radio uh, operator, still am, started in 2012, had the extreme pleasure of basically building um, a whole new radio shack, as we call it. Before that, I had it sitting and be in, in the middle of a, uh, the bedroom, a bedroom, and wasn't ideal. I was using that for multi-purpose uh, versus just ham radio. So in 2014, and you'll see a, a video for that, it goes back to then, that I basically uh, did that uh, with the new build. I was busy, so busy during, and now it's been 18 years that I have been in the generator business, I really didn't have time to do very much with the channel. Fast forward the 18 years, and now we're in 2022, I sold the generator business. We had planned on moving from Davie, Florida to Naples, Florida, and with the sale of my generator business, I had a 100-mile non-compete issue, meaning with living in Davie, that's where the ba business was uh, based, I could not perform any generator services for 100 miles from that from that location. But we knew that we were moving to Naples, which would put us outside the 100 miles. Found, uh, we were thinking actually, we were gonna be selling the home relatively quick, quickly. We put the home up for sale in Davie in November of 2022. And, uh, you know, we thought maybe a month we'd be selling the home and, and be buying a home here in Naples. Well, in retrospect, we did not sell the home until June. Since I could not work in the generated business, business that I had for 18 years, it wasn't uh, kind of a good use of time while we were still waiting to sell the home. So I moved and built a YouTube cha uh, channel studio in uh, a separate building and that was started in February of 2023. So in essence, I reintroduced my channel. Now the fact that I couldn't work in my long profession, I was blessed that I could actually spend full time on redeveloping my YouTube channel. When we sold the home in uh, June, as I mentioned, I had to, and this isn't fun, and, uh, you know, here we are over in Naples. I had to take my studio apart. I had all my lighting and cameras and, you know, all what I need to do it right. And I had to pack it up and uh, move over to, he over to here in Naples. Now, this home is a much smaller home than uh, the home we had in uh, Davie. So right now, I'm actually 
in the middle of the living room with my channel. The good news though is that we are working on a building. It's been purchased, it's uh, pretty much built. I get all the permitting. You're seeing a picture of it and this is going to go in the back of our home. It's going to be 28 feet uh, long by 14 feet wide and it's going to be my, my studio which is wonderful that I have this opportunity. So right now, being in the living room, we're doing the best we can, but it's certainly not exciting. We know that. Let's take a look at uh, some of the, uh, the two videos that go back to when I first started, so you get an idea as to how, how terrible they were actually were and, uh, you know, why, thank goodness, with my working now full time, slowly I'm getting better. So, uh, you know, that's great. Now, the first, here's the first one. It is what we call Generator 101. Welcome. This is Jim Whitehead of Power Sales Serve and Sales Serve. And this is Generator Install 101. First part of the installation is the delivery of your generator. It's very important to ensure that that shows basically the uh, how we're showing the how we're craning in generators, delivering them, and so on and so forth. The next scene will be where. I'm working Completed with my ham radio station. It works great. I want to thank all my Elmers who taught me so much, taught me enough to be able to build this new station. I want to also thank my wonderful XYL 24 for all her support. I love you. And to Shiny for being at my side through all my radio adventures. 73 from Jim Whitehead. Thank you. You're seeing Shiny. She was our, one of our many special animals. We lost her about eight years ago. Um, we love them all. Unfortunately, animals don't live long enough. Okay, the next scene we're going to go into shows one of the parts of my new channel, the reintroduction. And from back in 2007 to current times, shorts have become very popular. And I'm going to show you one of the shorts, but it's based on and they're approximately one minute in duration. But they're based on animals around the world. Yesterday I was working on animals that are in the Andes, the longest mountain range in, in the world, obviously as you know in South America. And I do approximately eight of these a day eight to ten and uh, I'm just a having fun it seems like I'm slowly getting some uh, you know subscribers and people are jo enjoying the discussion and how and all about each animal that I do so let's take a look at at that and um, the neat thing with YouTube, I, especially with this particular area that I'm working on as part of my channel, I learn so much every day about all the wonderful animals we have around the world, issues related to their environment, their habitat, concern that yes, we have climate change, 
and the, in, in most cases it's all being affected. But let's take a look at that. So anyway, that that's the shorts that I'm having fun with, and the great opportunity is learning so much about animals, and um, love them very much, and that's just how wonderful we, we have, and we are so blessed. Now, the point, and you'll see again uh, as I go along, pictures of the uh, building that actually is very getting relatively close we had to apply and i'm in uh we're in collier county and i had to pl apply for a permit that in essence is allowing us to in the back build a concrete support that will raise the new building that will be coming to the level of the home. As we also know, unfortunately, the way our weather changes, we can a lot of times have more water. Now, one, one thing that, and I try to have it where whatever I do, I'm learning something. Now, just a side point, this building I'm going to be running 100% on solar power. Besides being a Generac generator dealer, I'm also a Generac solar dealer. And as time has gone on in uh, Davie, I did install, I had a 48kW generator, but I also installed a 7kW solar system with batteries. And in, in, uh, to be honest with you, and this has kind of grown over the 18 years, and the expectation is that some things, and sometimes things get better, and there are better choices. Generators are certainly helpful. You lose power. You have power. But they're expensive. You've got to install gas, and you don't use them very often. Now with solar, you are using your solar, you're producing power a certain amount every day. And with a, and you can add multiple batteries, you store electricity that's extra during the day that you're not using. And then when it starts to get dark, you switch over to batteries. It's, it's a great plan. It's a great idea and you you're gonna follow along with me as I, I do this but uh, we're gonna be doing the uh, portable solar panels I'm not putting them on a roof and with solar installations in my opinion the best with solar panels is basically ground level not everybody has the space for ground level so uh, it, I admit that in some cases it has it will go on the roof but with ground level it's easy to add additional panels down the road but even more so you have them on a racking system that has it where you're able to change the angle of your solar panels basically four times a year I mean you can do it as much as you want but 
as you know, we have the solstices, uh, spring, summer, fall, winter. Each solstice, the sun is at a different angle. And not that you won't get soul if, you, if they're stationary, they don't move. But if you're able to change the angle to fit the way the sun is changing, you will ensure that you get all, all the power production you possibly can. I want to thank you for being here, watching this. And uh, please uh, subscribe. And uh, my best to everybody. And thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Thank you.